An Army captain stood tall as he choked back tears today when the president awarded him the country's highest honor. David Martin introduces us. Ever wonder what's going through a soldier's mind when he receives the Medal of Honor? It feels like something that you don't deserve. We asked Army Captain Florent Grober. The, the Army and government and president decided to award me this, this medal for the worst day of my life. So how does that feel? Overwhelming, confusing, not exciting. On August 8, 2012, in Afghanistan, Groberg was in charge of protecting his brigade commander and a couple other VIPs as they made a short march to the provincial governor's compound. It's just one of those weird moments that you get in combat where as soon as you get on the ground, just things don't feel right. Groberg would normally have been at the rear of a protective diamond around the VIPs. This time, he went to the front. I wanted to see where we're walking. I wanted to have eyes on. Groberg spotted a man coming toward them from the left. He's a threat. And my only thing in the world that I have to do at a specific moment is eliminate the threat, no matter what it takes. Why don't you shoot him? Can't just start shooting anyone. Didn't see a weapon on him. You know, so I can't pick up my rifle and shoot him. So Groberg, followed by Sergeant Andrew Mahoney, rushed him. I dropped my rifle, you know, grabbed him, and realized that at this point he's got plates on his, on his chest. A suicide bomber. Groberg and Mahoney threw him to the ground. When he blew up, his chest first blew up into the ground, which took the impact and was probably the reason why I'm here talking to you today. And why so many other soldiers who were there we're in the audience today. But moments later, a second suicide bomber hiding inside a nearby building detonated his vest. And between them, the bombers killed four men, which made it the worst day of Groberg's life. This medal that I, I will be receiving, I, I, I turn it right back in right now. Say no thank you, bring my guys back right here. That's what it feels like to be a war hero. David Martin, CBS News, Washington.